welcome back lovers of STEM and robotics. Today, let's talk about levels of robot intelligence as it's tied to their levels of control. And it goes from teleoperation or remote control to fully autonomous. Teleoperation is used mostly in a hostile or unsafe environment that is not completely modeled. And this is where the human operator can teleoperate a mobile robot so that the human performs the localization, the cognition, and the perception, and the robot just basically provides the motion control. The human controls the robot, it views the environment through the robot's eyes, such as a camera, and there's not really any artificial intelligence in the remote control is completely dictated by the human. Teleoperation is suited for tasks that are unstructured and not repetitive. So tasks that require dexterous manipulation or very detailed hand-eye coordination, you typically want a human to do that. It's also good for tasks that require object recognition or situational awareness, which is something that may be difficult for the robot to do as well. It's also great for when display technology is not needed or exceed limitations or that there's some bandwidth limitations that you would have to deal with as well.